Hi, it's Cheryl again. I just moved all my seedlings out from my living room out into the sunroom. And they've been in my house, in my dining room, for about three weeks. Yes, these are on my treadmill. I would stand on my treadmill. And then on the desk. I must have a couple hundred plants here. All the way over to the table. I've got some sitting on the chair. So I just wanted to show you what they look like. I'll go through them quickly, in case you haven't seen any of my other videos. These are kale, really into kale for juicing. So this whole tray here is kale and they are seriously tall, reaching for the light. These are some yellow tomatoes and a couple little basil plants back there. And this whole tray was cantaloupe and only one seeds come up out of maybe 30 seeds. These are seeds that we saved ourselves. So they didn't do very well. Got pots all over. Let me jump over these here. Lots of tomatoes. They're doing well. Different types of tomatoes. There's one more lone zucchini that needs to get into a bigger pot. And these are different lettuces. They, I didn't do great with the lettuce. These are butter lettuce. These are okay, but these romaines, pretty pitiful. And the Swiss chard, you see the purple stem. It's kind of wild and just laying all over the place. And then this whole tray is butter, lettuce. Those came in nicely. What's that one? Dwarf kale, this whole trail of dwarf kale. And I think that's flame lettuce over there. Watermelons didn't make it. I had a whole bunch of them. They came up and then they just died. I don't know if I think I overwatered them. Just got one watermelon that sort of made it and two cantaloupes that sort of made it. Cilantro, mm, not looking too good. Again, the tomatoes are looking great. And here's more cantaloupes. They all died. And I've got a little bunch of peppers and some more tomatoes back there and Looks like more kale. And then you've seen in my other videos, these were my zucchinis. They are doing the best. And my cucumbers down here. Okay, so we're in the process of hardening because you can't just take them from indoors. For, they've been indoors for a month and take them right outside. Here's my beautiful sunroom in our yard. That's our view out back. You can't just take them from indoors to outdoors or they will die. I think that some of these, these watermelons, they didn't make it because it was a little cooler. Um, but either way, you have to harden them. So you're gonna, I'm going to be carrying these outdoors and then back inside for a couple nights until I can tell that they're going to be able to be out in the cold. It's in the mid-60s, but it gets down to the high 40s at night. So anyway... That's it for today. I'll be in touch as they grow along. Okay, bye.